Hello, uh, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models again. Uh, I'm going to start building the Sikorsky. It's obviously another 144 scale model uh, by Revel, but don't let that hold you back from it. Uh, right, what can we see? Not much on the outside of the box. Apparently it's a skill level 3, so that means it's got some bits but not lots, but you do have to glue it together. Uh, right, that's all we can learn from that. Inside here we have quite a lot of decals for this, especially considering the size of the kit. Uh, where are we? 113. That'll be fun. Uh, in the instructions we have two pages, one of them is putting it together and one of it is about the decals. There's really not too much to it. Uh, obviously the sprue list, three sprues for the looks of it. Uh, right, and get the base, put the seats on and put the frame around the outside. Windows, tail fin, landing gear, uh, rocket uh, rocket pods, front landing gear, rear tow hook, and the propellers. And then the next page. Ah, that's all of the instructions. Okay. All no, right. They tell you put the propellers on and then do it six more times. Right. Uh, then we have the decal and paint. All uh, right. Do the German Army Aviation Corps. No, different regiments. They're both German. Uh, Regiment 25 and 2012 or Mendig from 1986 uh, right. basically it's camo or not uh, have different decals depending on what age you're going for uh, right well that's something to think about I don't know really I don't really have a preference camo is always interesting I enjoy doing that on the little plane but maybe I'll go for the older style. Uh, right, the um, spruce, let's get that open. It's only one bag so excuse the noise while I do that on camera. Rip it open like Christmas. Right, here we go. Get rid of that. Uh, canopy in the windows. They're not to uh, little plastic plastic blocks rather than like a cheap sheet so that's not too bad oh, the canopy in the entire front body and uh, right we've got the base let's get that down there we go uh, the, the main floor plate one side detail bits the other side six propellers rotors the fixing parts for that so it's going to be that sort of size it's quite big considering you know being a, a 144 kit oh, what have we got i've got the hurricane to compare it to so it's quite a substantial helicopter it's not just a, a little one so yeah um, I don't know if this is going to end up being a multi-part build or you know, multi-part video or just the, the one. It's obviously not a lot of parts so I'm expecting it's probably just going to be one by the time I get into it. Um, right, I don't think, judging by the building, uh, it looks like the interior will have to be painted before the cockpit part goes on which obviously again needs some painting. So I'll have to decide what I'm doing with the interior before 
I have to decide what colour I'm doing the outside before I put it all together. But uh, right, I'm going to start the build again. I'm not going to be filming everything that I'm doing, but I'll give you occasional updates and get on with what I'm doing. Looks like the first bit obviously is going to be a uh, control panel, uh, which is obviously it's the inside of that. A couple of yokes, the chairs and the back wall all going onto the the base pretty simple um, yeah it says not to glue obviously the post that the roast is going onto or the back door so it looks like you can open that yeah it looks fa a fairly simple build obviously it's not lots of parts but it should still be firm and it would be an interesting addition to my growing collection of 144 stuff i have to do a bit of research again because the, the box obviously shows the older style with no no camo but bright red bits on it i'm not sure how realistic that is but we'll worry about that when it's together there's no pilots somewhat disappointing but uh it'd just be a stationary model anyway so right i'll uh start cutting a few of these off um, obviously I need to paint the interior cockpit uh, the dashboard before it goes on so I'll uh, have a think about what I'm going to be doing with the color scheme and uh, update you in a little while that's the first bits uh, cut off painted real uh, mixed up a green for the interior as it says uh, the control panel I've put a few details on uh, you can't see because the reflections but just a few white highlights I did a search for the control panel itself and came back with an image that was mo mostly black so didn't really have much to go by uh, back wall grey but I put a few details on there as well and the seats again grey with the uh, the uh, control on the side there in silver so I just need to basically glue the seats onto the slots there they've got a little groove on the back which goes on to the little blob on the base so I need to get those on get the back wall on and get the control panel on Now to put these on obviously just needs to go into let's zoom in a little bit for you uh, right the two little blobs need to go into the two little indents there so I'm actually going to put them in now without any glue where it's been painted it has made the hole slightly smaller there we go that's actually quite a good fit but uh, I'm going to add a bit of extra thin just to the back where the pin comes through uh, the control sticks I've already glued in place uh, now the seats I'm going to have to put a bit of glue on first so do that one first. I'll do that one here. Then it's going to take a second to put them on. I'm going to use a small pair of tweezers to grab them because they're obviously pretty small. Just need to get that located on. about right and the other one there as well and of course it covers most of the detail that I put onto the, the back wall as well those I'll add a little bit of extra thin around the edge there just to 
hold them in place and the last bit is the dashboard which just locates onto the front piece there uh, probably easier to do the glue on the bit rather than on the post put that on there just locate that two little grooves there onto there hold it for a couple of seconds give it a time to just set a little bit and there you have the control panel the, the uh, cockpit which you won't be able to see very much of anyway but as ever with these things there we go lined up while it's not quite dry have to leave this very still for a while to set there you go all right the next bit on the instructions is going to be the getting the outside around with the the door come back out that's more helpful uh, so yeah that's pretty much the body of it and then there's the windows to go in the fins then the wheels and then the pods on the side so it's only just started and almost finished uh, right so I'm going to get the other bits cut off and we'll come back from there see you in a moment that's part two started I've cut all the bits off the screw uh, sanded them down none of these bits have been primed or painted yet but uh, I need to get some of the assembly done before I do any of that now looking at the instructions here obviously I've got to put the bit that I've already done then the ramp and then a, a door over the ramp and then the rotor on and the post that the, the main rotor goes on uh, looks like there's decals to go onto these as well so I'm just going to get this bit stuck together so there's the there's all the little bits that's the door cover the rotor and the two bits that have to go onto there now uh, there are differences one is a little bit wider than the other the notch so I need to make sure I get them the right way round and the right way up that's the right way up and that's one there and one there so I'm just going to use some extra thin into the two indentations and then just get them locked in place they're obviously so small and light that the glue holds them in place almost immediately there you go that'll be those once that's set get rid of any excess glue from it get that together now the main bit that I've already done obviously goes across the bottom there but I'm just going to see how the fit is for these yeah not too bad things don't quite line up right but Gluing them together will be about right and then I can obviously send them down and get rid of any imperfections there. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. That will just pop into there. Afterwards, the door. Let's see where the door goes. So oh, there's a little window to go on the door and it can sort that out as well. Uh, right at the top there. two indentations that that goes into once you get it right now there on the inside of that 
by the looks of it. That's strange. Little indentation. If I can get the light there. Hole there, almost perfectly lined up with that bit. Which means if it goes above, it doesn't quite line up. If it goes below, it doesn't quite line up. Well done, Revel. Making sure it is the right bit that I'm talking about, yeah. Uh, looks like that is that. It needs to go there. And at the same time, the rotor post needs to locate at the top while none of it's being glued together. So you've got two bits that aren't glued in place to be assembled at the same time as the floor and the other, the interior door and the top door. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I think, almost like that. But then it doesn't quite close. All right, I'll have to have a bit of attention and see what happens with those. Definitely is designed to locate into those. Possibly when it's glued together better. Possibly not. All right, I'm going to take that out because otherwise I'm going to lose that. Right, these are slightly undercut, slightly lower, so I'm thinking it's got to be on that side. There is always the chance that they just didn't put the holes in the right place. Who'd have thought? I'm hoping I might be able to do it while it's open and then close it. feels like it locates but it actually doesn't that might be it no well I'm sure this is absolutely riveting for you so ah, that might be that there you go and I bet it closes yeah not quite Well, that looks like that's probably that. And that one will obviously be actually glued under there. Like that. There you go. That must be on the inside when that's attached. Yeah, pretty much like that. With a window. So I've got to do that, and then somehow I'll probably just glue this end, and then I can still prise that open enough to get the top rotor part in. So, um, painting and priming, let's see. Um, I need to put the windows in, and then another bit on the top that's gonna to be a different color anyway. And there's a door on the other side, as well as the tail fin. Then the surrounds, these are going to be a different colour as well. Yeah, the main body I need to get painted fairly soon, probably before I put these windows in, that'll save having to mask them. So, what I'm going to do, the plan, which will no doubt change, as seems to be a theme. I'll get this together with the bits in it then I can prime it and get rid of the the seam line get it painted then add the extra bits on get the windows in which go from the outside anyway so that's okay then worry about the undercarriage and the rocket base 
That sounds like a plan. Right, there we go. So, I need to get this glued together with the insides in. They're probably dry enough now anyway. The inside of that needs to be painted though and have some decals on it. You'll be able to see that when the back door is open, if the back door's ever opened. So yes, I need to do that first. So I'll get this primed apart while I'm priming, because I need to prime that part anyway. I'll get it all primed separate, then put it together, and then get rid of the seam lines, reprime where I need to, and go from there. Right. I'll uh, get that done, and then see how we go. Well, I've primed and glued this bit together. It's just drying now. I've got trouble with the the hatchway. It doesn't seem to be quite right. I'm not sure that the holes are in the right place. I think they should be lower. So that should probably close across that lip. But we'll find out when it all goes together. Um, I've made sure that this is still, the rotor post is still able to rotate. The cockpit is glued in place. So I, there's obviously a couple of extra bits to go on there and there, and the windows to go in. It says to put the windows in in the next step. It also says to put the the back rotor on, but it's going to be much easier to paint without the rotor on, and it just pops in. So that's going to be pretty much the last step that I do. Um, I have got the bottom panel that again just glues on there but there is a decal to go on the inside of that so I'm gonna do that first paint it up then do that so that door panel is somewhat loose there so I'm pretty sure it's all gonna be shut I'm not gonna have it open and usable so I think I'll get that painted get the decal on and then glue that shut with it all together uh, gonna paint it then put the windows on because there's no point in putting the windows on and then having to mask them um, so according to the instruction sheet I've got here, let me put that down a sec. Um, well this is painted and then put together. It says tape it together but then it doesn't have to come apart again so I have glued it. Um, before I put the windows in, obviously in the other bit that's a different colour anyway. And the fin which it doesn't tell you nicely about what colour is painted. Uh, the door, I might put the door on next without the window because again that needs to be painted the same colour as the rest of it and the outside pods which are a different colour so I think the plan let this dry uh, get the inside painted and the decals on and then get it up sealed inside yeah, that's going to come off, so that definitely needs gluing on as well. Uh, right, so I get this painted on the inside, get the decals on it, and then get all the outside bits stuck on, find the door, put the door on. Uh, the only trouble I'm going to have is going to be the front part of the cockpit, which I've got somewhere, there it is, is a clear piece, which obviously then does still need painting in both colours, just to be interesting. Uh, so that's definitely going to need some masking, but so is the outside panels anyway. So I don't need the inside of it anymore. Although there's still windows there. Ah, it's so tricky. I think I'm going to get that on, mask the windows on that, so then I can get a good coverage on the rest of the outside get as much of it together as I can before I do any painting because I'm going to have to mix up a, a custom colour for it anyway so obviously I don't want to do that more than once uh, right so the inside of this painted decal get it together put the door on put the front on these are all the windows uh, so yeah uh, find the door let's do that now 
obviously I need to prime the door as well, I forgot about that bit. There's the door, number eight, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, part number eight. So the door is just that piece there. There's the back fin, there are the pods, some of the landing gear, and the two extra little bits for the. <coughs> uh, no, I thought that was only one piece for there. I don't know, two more for somewhere else. Figure that out at the end, and then obviously I've got all the six rotors to build for the big top rotor and the wheels. Get the wheels and undercarriage, and the rotor can be obviously the last bit. I have to track down and see what part 38 is because that's a tiny little gun or something. That's part of the rotor and rotor, right? So I have a plan and <laughs> see if it works. Uh, get the door off, get that primed, get the inside of this painted all glued together and then paint the outside of it right that would be that I'll uh, obviously do that all off camera again and then show you where I am with the next bit all right I'm not sure how well this is going to come out on video but we'll have a go uh, what I've done is uh, stuck it all together um, filed down the seam line as much as I can I need to reprime it but I thought I'd take the opportunity of uh, priming the, the cockpit as well. So I need to mask out the windows, three across the front, two at the back, uh, and yeah, two at the sides as well. Uh, so I've cut a piece of tape to fill this side window. I've cut it so the edge um, the two corners here, which I'm hoping is still on camera, yep, cover the side of the window. Now, I need to locate the inside frame. Now, I can do that by pushing down with a nail or a, a toothpick or something if you chew your nails. So, there it is. Now, I'm going to gently, with a knife, Just cut, it's a straight edge all the way down to the bottom there and across the top as well. Uh, hopefully you can see what's going on. So that piece there um, is now covering the window. The trick is to get rid of the excess without peeling that away. Now I'm going to Go over it a couple of times with the knife again hardly using any pressure at all because I don't want to scratch the plastic underneath I just need to go through the surface of the tape I'm going to overextend past the join there so it actually crosses each cut I think that's about there and so, if I pull this away, there you go, and that is now covering the top two and that side window. Um, let's do the same again. I've pre cut a couple of pieces of tape to be about the right size. So basically get it, keep checking to make sure I'm on camera, in place to cover that first two edges. And mark it in. On this luckily the windows are all recessed slightly so you can see and feel where you need to be. So again, I'm going to go along here, up and past, and across the inside, just there, just along there. Again, going a few light passes, each one taking down just a few fibres of the tape. Hopefully 
hopefully that's about right let's try when you're peeling it up I find if you peel it instead of coming away if you come in the direction that you uh, how do I describe it sideways not straight up so you're not pulling up against the tape that you've already put down you're pulling along the cut that you've made so there you go that's the two side windows um, let's do the three on the front and the two each side once that's done I'll be able to get some more primer down and across um, I need to mask off the, the top piece so it still rotates uh, I've put on the, the door since the last time you saw it and the back fin so uh, yeah I'll get all that done get that primed and we can get it painted but, uh, I thought I'd give you an idea as to the, the masking not that you can see a great deal of it on film but hopefully it gives you an idea right see you in a bit now that's the priming done um, I'll be leaving the masking on the windows basically until I've finished there's no point in taking that off uh, so the, the door is now covered as is all the uh, the back fin and all the seams uh, pretty happy with that the bottom's not great there is still a seam line across the bottom there which I need to go back and take care of so I'll do a little bit more on there and then give it another coat of a little bit on the top here as well don't know if that comes out very well but just needs a little bit of touching up so a uh, little bit more filing once that's completely dry and then a little bit uh, of uh, repriming and then spraying in the right colour uh, then I've got to worry about putting the extra wing bits on painting and priming everything else but uh, all in all it's coming together it's still quite a good size let's um, what should we compare it to there we go first plane the hurricane that was the first one and that's that so yeah it's quite a quite a big helicopter really let's come back a bit see that better there you go yeah uh, right so I'll let that dry completely and then get the rest of the priming done and uh, for you it will be no time at all well this video has got <coughs> a bit longer than expected so I'm going to be breaking it into a probably a three part video this one now uh, so this is going to be the end of the, the first part although this is being recorded after almost the second part but don't worry about that uh, thanks for watching um, stay tuned for the the second and then say probably a third part as well uh, thank you subscribe and you won't miss them